Ah, Black Friday is almost gone, but if you think everyone was in the shopping mood today, think again. There is a growing movement aimed at buying less, or as this ad points out, nothing at all. The average North American consumes five times more than a Mexican, ten times more than a Chinese person, and 30 times more than a person from India. We are the most voracious consumers in the world. A world that could die because of the way we North Americans live. Give it a rest. November 26 is Buy Nothing Day. Now the group behind the ad is urging a boycott on shopping for the entire holiday season. The man behind the drive is Kale Lawson, editor-in-chief of Adbusters magazine. He joins us live from Vancouver, British Columbia. Welcome. Yes, hi. I, I should point out that the ad you just saw, uh, we were not uh, able to buy any airtime on MTV, Fox, ABC, NBC, or CBS for that ad. Well, why do you think that is? Because I think that uh, uh, they want to generate as much consumption as they can during the Christmas shopping season, and they don't like dissenting voices like this coming on. No, we make our money off of advertisements, so we want the money too. But yes. do you really think portraying consumers as pigs is an effective way to get people to stop buying so much? Yes, I think so. Uh, this Buy Nothing Day that we started uh, back in 1992, it's had a meteoric rise, uh, and it is now celebrated in 65 countries around the world. So today in the, in the United States of America, when millions of people were going uh, and, and shopping like crazy, there were a few million other people around the world who didn't buy a single thing. Oh, it's so hard to believe. Kali, I mean, Black Friday is like a tradition. People love to go out on this day and shop. We yeah, absolutely but, love it. Why do you want them to quit but, shopping? But think about it. After this very spiritual holiday of uh, Thanksgiving, why is it that our culture is somehow then requiring us to go out the next day and, and, and max out on our credit cards and, 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 and buy probably more than we need to buy? I, I think that uh, what those people who, those millions of people who went shopping today, I think what they're missing is they don't quite understand the consequences of, of their consumption because overconsumption has ecological consequences. Uh, you know, that uh, uh, overconsumption is in some sense the, the mother of all our environmental problems. Oh, come on, environmental problems? Yes, environmental problems. Uh, every single purchase that you make has some kind of an impact on the planet, and, uh, and we, the, the rich one billion of the uh, people on the planet, are now consuming 86% of all the, the goods in the global marketplace, leaving a, a lousy 14% for the rest of the 5 billion people on the planet, and then we wonder why it has ecological psychological and, and political consequences. I, I believe that overconsumption in, in the rich countries of the world is one of the root causes of, of terrorism. I believe that this huge inequity, 86% for the rich people, 14 for the poor. If somebody wants to buy their kid a, an Elmo doll, what's the harm in that? Well, yeah, I mean, you make it sound so nice, but you know, if we, if we consume 86% and we leave only 14% for the rest of the 5 billion people on the planet, how do you think that makes them feel? What about, no, forget about our kids, what about their kids? Well, I, I can understand that set, sentiment perfectly, but, 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 but buy nothing? Wouldn't that destroy the American economy? Well, yes, I think that if we suddenly all stop buying, then of course it would uh, hurt the economy, but only in the short term. Uh, you have to think about the long-term consequences of the kind of uh, business culture that we have built up. I mean, our uh, global economic system is now uh, uh, producing climate change. We're running out of oil. The, the, the fish in the Atlantic are starting to disappear. The, here in the Pacific Northwest, where I live, uh, the salmon runs are drying up. And I think that in some way we are actually living off the backs of our own children. We're living off the backs of future generations if we continue to... to somehow, to, to somehow, Kali, although it all sounds nice and politically correct, I, I just don't think people will stop buying for that particular reason. Maybe if you said, oh, you know, the holiday season is meant to be with your family and the sharing of generosity and love and not consumerism, maybe that would work better. No, I, I think that uh, a lot of people just need to wake up to the ecological psychological and, and political consequences of this opulent kind of a hyperactive lifestyle that we've built up here. You know that uh, right after the Second World War uh, we only consumed very frugally and, and we have increased our consumption by 300 percent. The average consumer today consumes three times more 
than the average consumer did uh, right after the Second World War. We got a lot ago. more money. Now. And you know, <laughs> Kali yeah, lost it. We yeah, got we have a lot more there. money, but our happiness has not gone up. Not even well, by one percent. Well, I would hope that that's not true, Kali Lawson. Thank you for joining us tonight. We appreciate it. Yes. Adios. <laughs> Adios.